Hello guys, I'm Kat Valk and I hope you all had a lovely holiday. Today I'm here with this Palette Full Packs art box that I'm gonna open, so stay tuned for that. But before we start, I just want to do the last short shout out for now. Today I want you to say hello to Mimi from Geek Lightful. On her channel you will find all kinds of DIY tutorials for realistic miniature food from video game, pop culture, TV shows and movies. I warn you, you may get hungry from just watching her channel. Her videos are so funny and cute and they will inspire you. So if you are into cute stuff and geek culture and food, go check out Geek Lightful and be sure to subscribe. Links are in the description box below and in the i section in the upper right corner. So from one delicious thing to another, let's take a closer look on this box that Palettful Packs sent to me. And I'm not paid or anything to do this video, by the way. So I think this will be my last video for 2016. And of course I'm gonna end it with an art supply box. I think I've done almost 30 of them in total this year. That is crazy. I don't know if that is good or bad, but I know that many of you actually seem to like this video. So I'm gonna keep doing them as long as you want me to. I don't think I'm gonna do 30 of them next year, but I'm definitely gonna do a few more. So yeah. Anywho, I'm gonna open this and show you what's inside and then I'm gonna try to make something with it and I'm gonna share my thoughts on the box and the supplies with you. You know how it works by now, so let's go. We have a very big box filled with all these Christmassy paper worms and the first thing we see is this illustration board from Strathmore. Also, there is no description about any of the materials in the box, so I hope I get all the brands and stuff right. Next thing is a 4 by 6 inches stretch card on canvas from Art Alternatives and that is a real tongue twister. So I can almost guess that there will be paint in this box. And a pack of round brushes in different sizes from Princeton that looks like they will be great for more detailed work. And yes, here we have the paint. It's acrylic paint from Golden. Two of them seem to be just regular paint and the two with the pointy caps you can apparently use with ink pens and airbrush and so on. And I haven't heard of this brand before so I looked them up and they seem to be quite pricey so hopefully they will be of good quality. Next we have a Montana acrylic paint pen and I have one of these already and I really like them. The paint is very opaque. And the last supplies are these 3x3 mini canvases, also from Art Alternatives, the tongue twisting company. There are four of them in this pack, really cute. So let's try out the supplies. I really love working with acrylics, even if it was a while ago. What I noticed with these paints though is that they seem to be very thin and runny. I am used to cheaper but thicker acrylic paints, but they seem to mix very well with each other and create nice color tones. I decided to use the larger of the canvases for my painting and I, who have never really painted faces before in acrylic, decided to paint a face, of course, never stop challenging yourself. So I made a sketch in Photoshop and printed it and to transfer my sketch to the canvas I drew with a soft and dark graphite pencil on the back of the sketch and it will work like a tracing paper. So when I put the sketch on the canvas and trace the lines with a pencil they will be transferred to the canvas. I always used this method before when I made huge acrylic paintings of dogs and wolves and stuff. It's a little time consuming but it is easy and it works great. One thing I did forget to do before I started painting was priming the canvas. It is so much harder to paint on the raw surface of the canvas since it absorbs the paint. I normally just make a thin layer with white paint to make the surface a little smoother and easier to work with. So that's why I had a little trouble in the beginning with making an even skin color. 
I mixed the beige and a tiny bit of red for a warmer skin tone and later I added a bit of green to create a darker tone and even if I didn't like the runny consistency of the paint I did like the way the paint mixed together the colors turned out so bright and nice and even if I mixed the green with the red which should create some kind of brownish color but instead it made this very nice burgundy red so a little about this palette full packs box, what I think is really good with this specific art subscription box is that they not only have this premiere box which is the one I've got, but they also have a box that is more aimed towards younger artists with supplies that are more suited and fun for aspiring young artists. I haven't seen that with any other subscription box so far so I really like that. The premiere box is $35 and the Young Artist one is $29, so they are at about the same price as Sketchbox, which is one of the more expensive boxes I've tried, but there are a lot of stuff in this box, I just wish I could read more about the supplies, so a little information card would be very helpful. Even if the product names are written on the supplies, it's always nice to be able to read more about them and maybe get some tips and tricks on how to use them. I was a little skeptical when I first opened the box to be honest since I could wish for more paint bottles in different colors than just a bunch of canvases but the colors mixed so well and looked really nice and the canvas was really fun to work with again so I did really enjoy this box you could do a lot of things with just these supplies alone so yeah it's a nice box and I like that they are offering one for younger artists too I will leave a link in the info box below to their website and also a discount code that will give you 20% off on your first box. So back to the painting, I was a little concerned at first about this piece, it was quite messy in the beginning, but when I added more contrast and a bit of outlining I could see it come together more and more, and my first intention was to use the black paint pen for outlining directly on the painting, but it didn't seem to work that well to draw with on the uneven surface of the canvas, so I decided to get the black paint out of the pen and onto the mixing palette, then I could use the brushes in instead to add the black paint. I could also mix it with the other paint to create even darker color tones. I really love how this turned out, I rarely do half profile portraits but I think it doesn't look that bad and I couldn't resist giving her pointy elf ears. I struggle a bit with the details but I think that the outlines gave the drawing a nice cartoony comic book feeling. I hope you like it too. Yeah, I had a lot of fun making this painting, it was nice working with acrylic paints again and I really enjoyed this box and I still have a lot of canvases and illustration boards and paint to use so they might appear in future videos and if you would be interested in subscribing to a palette full pack box check out the link in the info box below and since the new year is approaching let me know what you would like to see on my channel in 2017 I will make another video in the beginning of the new year where I will talk more about my thoughts about 2016 and my plans for 2017 so you will be able to leave me feedback and suggestions then too. Thank you so much for watching and for being here with me this year. You may have been here for years now or maybe just a few days. Either way, I am so grateful for your support. I am so grateful for you guys. Have a great new year and I will see you in 2017. Keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!